What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka Allfires. Now just over two weeks ago, we ran a story here at the channel reporting on Amy Pascal, longtime producer over at Sony. She's now doing her own thing, but totally in charge of Spider-Man and other than Kevin Feige, the most in the know about what's going on with the future of that character and the franchise, telling us not to worry that Spider-Man 4 was in its earliest stages of development. However, she's only half of the equation, Marvel Studios and Kevin Feige being the other half, but alas, Kevin Feige has finally weighed in on Spider-Man 4 as well, and it is all good news. We're breaking down exactly what he said in context of not only Amy Pascal's comments from two weeks ago, but the reports at large over the last two years, the greater plan for Marvel and Sony, what they wanted to do with the Spider-Man character, and how the end of Spider-Man No Way Home left us off in the perfect spot for what they're going to do in Spider-Man 4. All very exciting stuff for the future of Spidey and the MCU, and we're breaking down everything Kevin Feige said about it, but first, if you could consider hitting the subscribe button, we do daily Marvel content here at this channel, and that's all we do, and I've been doing it for four years. We cover everything from the journalistic side, the industry insider scoops, interviews, breakdowns all the way to the anonymous 4chan plot leak and everything in between so if that sort of things for you consider hitting the subscribe button and leaving a comment down below that will automatically enter you to win the ps5 giveaway which is at 920,000 subscribers we are almost there if you want stick around at the end of the video we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there so these quotes and the ones around them were taken directly and verbatim from their most recent new york times interview and if you're wondering yes president of marvel studios kevin feige was sitting side by side in this interview with producer Amy Pascal, as he's done quite often for the press tours for these films, ever since she reportedly threw a sandwich at him for Kevin Feige requesting to have Spider-Man in Civil War. That's a true story. Look it up. They point blank asked, what about the next standalone Spider-Man movie? Amy, you said last month that you and Kevin, Sony and Disney, are going to collaborate on three more, which seemed to catch the studios by surprise. Pascal said, quote, we're producers, so we always believe everything will work out. I love working with Kevin. We have a great partnership alongside Tom Rothman, who runs Sony and has been instrumental, a great leader with great ideas. I hope it lasts forever. To which the New York Times writer cleverly interjected in the interview and in all bold, that sounds like a classic Hollywood walk back. Kevin Feige jumped in though, no fear at all. And this is what he had to say about the future of Spider-Man and Spider-Man 4, quote, Amy and I and Disney and Sony are talking about, yes, we're actively beginning to develop where the story heads next, which I only say outright because I don't want fans to go through any separation trauma like what happened after Far From Home. They go ahead and put in brackets the previous Spider-Man movie in 2019, although I'm sure most of the people watching the video at this channel know exactly what happened back in 2019. That was right after Avengers Endgame and Far From Home, the end of the deal between Sony and Marvel, and Sony pulled Tom Holland's Peter Parker out of the MCU. Feige made sure to conclude his quote by saying that will not be occurring at this time. Pascal then jumped in and said, at the end of the movie we just made, you see Spider-Man make a momentous decision, one that you've never seen him make before. It's a sacrifice, and that gives us a lot to work with for the next film. Now, quite honestly, I'm probably not the only one that's very relieved that they came out and said this, and not just because of what happened before after Far From Home with their sharing agreement, or the fact that Sony is developing this myriad of solo villain films and has yet to introduce a Spider-Man, which they're eventually going to have to, probably Tom Holland's iteration, it's because of what Tom Holland's been saying during the press tour. Quotes like, it may be time to say goodbye to Spider-Man. If I'm still playing him when I'm 30, I've done it wrong. Even the most recent quote that he thinks the best thing is for Spider-Man to go away for a while and let the fans tell them what they want. Of course, some of those taken out of context. It sounds like for certain, regardless of what he's saying about the character and what others have said about him ending up back at Sony, all of this is going to continue at least for one more trilogy, which you have to give credit where credit is due, this was all said all the way back in 2019 by one friend of the channel and industry insider, Mikey Sutton. He's the chief editor and founder over at Geekosity website. He and I have been friends now for two years, and if you look back on my YouTube channel and his posted editorials, Geekosity was started some year later. We were breaking the live Into the Action Spider-Verse all the way back in 2020, January 23. This is months after that sharing agreement was re-signed Guys, this is almost two full years ago. Mikey Sutton had this all called all the way back then. And the reason I bring this up is just not to give him credit, but this is what he had to say about the future of the MCU and Spider-Man again two years ago, and it's all lining up. He said, after this initial trilogy, 
of Peter Parker in high school that the MCU and Sony would look to do the next trilogy, Peter Parker in college. Three movies. And honestly, everything about this last film lined that up perfectly. This is what I will specifically say though going forward into this video, even though we're going to wrap it up here shortly for a couple more final points I want to make. There are light spoilers about the end of Spider-Man No Way Home uh, for the next couple of minutes in this video. I want to point two things out. So if that's in any way going to ruin it for you, even though I know you guys have been trolling YouTube for 48 hours and probably seen the movie everywhere at this point, please uh, back out now so it's not ruined for you. I was worried at the end of the movie when they essentially erased everybody's memory of Peter Parker. That's basically disconnecting him from the canon of the MCU. There's still a Spider-Man. He was still a part of Avengers Endgame. He's still a part of the um, zeitgeist popular culture. And there are both sides still, as we heard from John Jonah Jameson. Is he a menace or is he a hero? But Peter Parker's connection to those characters is now gone. And so I was really worried watching him swing out that essentially Sony, so to speak, were in the driver's seat with all of this because what was anchoring him to the MCU, that connection to those characters and the trials and tribulations they had gone through, essentially were reset with a memory wipe. And while yes, there are definitely going to be some theories and Easter egg things we're going to discuss in the coming weeks at the channel that may have, well, sort of different opinions and how this ending really happened and what's going on there. I think in all, it's really good to hear that Marvel and Sony are still working together. There's no contention there that they seemingly have a path forward with the character. And if Mikey Sutton continues to be right over the coming years from what's coming from Sony and Marvel, then we're going to get another trilogy with Tom Holland's Parker in college. And then if he continues to be correct, we'll get a yet another trilogy. That's right. Mikey Sutton originally said three trilogies, nine movies, freshman in high school through freshman in college through being an adult but hey that's uh, like a decade to come and we shall see guys let me know all your thoughts down in the comments down below what i will mention also is that at least right now tom holland is reported to show up in one more spider-man marvel crossover whether or not that'll be a post credit scene in venom or uh sorry morbius or a future venom film we'll talk about that uh again in the uh in the months to come i'm sure Leave a comment down below quickly. Let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. All right, we're still giving away a PlayStation 5. We're giving away a ton of them now. Every 20,000 subscribers, all the way up to a million. And if the subs slow down because, you know, we go through a slow season, then I'll just amp up how frequently we give them away. I'm essentially trying to give one away every two or three months this year or faster. So if you want to be entered to win or for any of the other giveaways, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber then comment down below and because it's truly random the more videos you comment on the better chance you have of winning all winners will be announced at the end of videos the same way we're doing here the best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on and as always if you enjoyed today's video i would appreciate it if you'd hit the like button my name's michael roman you can find me in a couple of places instagram and twitter at i am fires you can also find me on youtube spotify amazon apple itunes wherever you listen to music under the name all fires and while i'd sincerely appreciate you checking my music out i just appreciate you checking this channel out hit the subscribe button stick around we'll be posting again real real soon peace love spider-man